number one or P9. And the State Department of Corrections is now calling them an emerging public threat. Chris Blatchford is here to expose this group for the first time on TV. Chris. Also known as the P9 Death Squad, law enforcement intelligence says the gang is increasing recruitment efforts in the ranks of white supremacist skinheads. And as we see in this Fox Undercover report, the P9 is making a push for power in prisons, but also out on the streets. This dog's owner belongs to a group so taken with violence. His name's Hitman. Hitman Tank. He jokes, even his pit bull carries a sawed-off shotgun. But later, seeing the dog in action, it's arguable Tank doesn't need a weapon. He is one. If I don't have a gat, I start bombing on somebody, my dog locks on you too. So it's a little dog boy. Good boy, Tank. And as night falls in this remote area near Big Bear... Myself, I have over 300 guns. The tattooed hands of Tank's owner ready a 38 revolver... ...quickly use it to demonstrate his murderous method. He is a shot caller in a gang called Public Enemy Number 1. Mostly known as Peni, sometimes referred to as PDS, short for the Peni Death Squad ready to kill enemies and snitches. I'll end up with one of these when I got 16 gauge right here. Guarantee you, you won't get up if I blast you, you know? As far as we can determine, Peni started in Long Beach about 1986. A small group of teenagers stealing their name from a hardcore punk rock band called Rudimentary Peni. Rudimentary Peni, that's how Peni started. This Peni member, in a police tape obtained by Fox 11 News, remembers the beginning. When we were kids, and when we started this as kids, we were, we were all pump rockers at Disneyland. He is Brody Davis, a parolee who has done time for intimidating a witness. A far cry from Disneyland, he and his peni brothers put down roots in the white supremacist skinhead movement, fertilized by hate, still blossoming into racist anger. <laughs> By the early 90s, Peni had moved to Orange County, which became its main stomping grounds. Anaheim became a familiar haunt. Detective Tim Miller remembers them for auto theft, burglaries, and drug activity. They were all into dope. Uh, you know, using methamphetamine was, was really the big thing, drug of choice. Now, the drug culture runs through the veins of the Peni organization like blood. This is what you call methamphetamines, glass. Especially methamphetamines. But in all fairness, some peni talk against the use of drugs. That we don't all do drugs. That do you, do you know what a skinhead is? A skinhead is, is, is a is a working class man that doesn't want to do that doesn't do drugs. Everybody wants. But clearly, it appears peni use of meth is epidemic. Everybody's on it. So it's just crack. And also, for Peni, meth is a major source of income. So I'll do jail time, I'll do whatever I have to do to make the money, to get my client to know, and I live by the code of silence. And he lives on the profits of drug sales. Probably about $400 a day, but I'm not really pushing the issue. He says he gets the dope from Peni buddies. Players make it. For a while, they were making it here. They were manufacturing speed. That's until the dangerous chemicals used to make meth exploded. We got a spark and the house went up. Apparently, flames destroyed the cabin before firefighters and police arrived. Well, they usually have it turned on. These peni often monitor police activity on a scanner. We're glass. And according to law enforcement intelligence obtained by Fox 11 News, There's some holes in my Peni are actively recruiting new members to protect their interests and strengthen their position among other white criminal elements. Department of Corrections gang officer Wes Harris. These groups are going to start popping up everywhere and they are uh, extremely violent. He says Peni sees themselves as Viking warriors, true to pagan Nordic gods, a die on your shield philosophy and no remorse. It fits well with a group that has evolved from punk rockers to racist skinheads to a gang of thugs moving into organized crime. In this business of gun speed, violence, and sex, that's what it's all about. 
And law enforcement sources say there is an alarming chain of events launching Penhai's power, causing an alliance with another well-known white supremacist group and threatening to beef up Penai's influence in prison yards and out on the street. We'll have that story tomorrow.